Hello friends, here comes a story where there was a king in India, who was a big chess enthusiast and had the habit of challenging wise visitors to a game of chess. One day, a traveling sage was challenged by the king. The sage having played this game all his life all the time with people all over the world, gladly accepted the king's challenge. To motivate his opponent the king offered any reward that the sage could name. The sage modestly asked just for a few grains of rice in the following manner. The king was to put a single grain of rice on the first chess square and double it on every consequent one. The king accepted the sage's request. Having lost the game and being a man of his word the king ordered a bag of rice to be brought to the chessboard. Then he started placing rice grains according to the arrangement, one grain on the first square, two on the second, four on the third, eight on the fourth and so on. Following the exponential growth of the rice payment, the king quickly realized that he was unable to fulfill his promise because on the twentieth square the king would have had to put one million grains of rice. On the fortieth square, the king would have had to put one billion grains of rice. And, finally, on the sixty-fourth square, the king would have had to put more than eighteen quintillion grains of rice which is equal to about two hundred and ten billion tons and is allegedly sufficient to cover the whole territory of India with a meter-thick layer of rice. It was at that point that the sage told the king that he doesn't have to pay the debt immediately but can do so over time. And so the sage became the wealthiest person in the world. Knowledge and experience are the best investments and pay the biggest dividends. Having just one without the other will give you fewer results. Educate yourself then take that what you have learned and use it to gain experience. To understand the effect of compounding better, imagine you and your friend has given two offers, one is earning one crore at a time and the other is receiving one rupee and that will be doubled each day for 30 days. Let's assume you take the offer one crore at a time and your friend took the other offer which is receiving one rupees and double it every day till 30 days. Let's compare both the results, you will have one crores and your friend will have 53 68, 70, 9 12 rupees. From this you can understand who took the better decision, it's obviously your friend as he waited for 30 days and in return has got multiplied amount of money. This the power of compounding effect, the eighth wonder of the world said by Albert Einstein, it is also called the dominoes or the snowball effect. Those who understand this will earn it, those who don't will pay for it. We can apply this effect to almost everything in our life whether it's health, wealth, relationship, education etc. Once the world's best football player, Messi stated that it took 17 years and 114 days to become an overnight success. Some call it the snowball effect, others call it the domino effect, some even call it the compound effect. I simply call it what is momentum. If you build enough you can change the world. Once you gain momentum, you will be hard to stop virtually unbeatable even though you're now putting in less effort. Getting greater results with only a little more effort may feel like cheating or an unfair advantage. But that's the law of nature for you. A domino can topple down another domino 1.5x its size. Don't believe me? Watch this video of the domino effect, and just think for a minute the impact of this. This means something so small, that could be picked up by forceps, can ultimately tackle something so big and knock them down. If you line your dominoes carefully and there are no blocks amazing things can happen. What started with a gentle tick, quickly ended with a loud slam. The more dominoes you line up, the more potential energy you can unleash. When it starts, it's too slow to notice until it's too fast to stop. Warren Buffet's book called The Snowball, was named after the snowball effect where a rolling snowball, once it gains size, starts attracting more to itself and grows even bigger, much like urban cities or empires, much like anything in life. But the difference here is that once you become a giant snowball, do you continue moving forward or do you allow a scruffy little domino to knock you down? Don't worry nothing fails like success if you become complacent, that giant slayer will be building momentum for that day to knock you down. And when you're down, the first part of the law of inertia will kick in, objects at rest tend to stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. The compound effect is the principle of reaping huge rewards from a series of small, smart choices. You can take the first step to building your momentum by reading Darren Hardy's book The Compound Effect. 
And once you're finished with that read J. Papazin's The One Thing which also talks about doing one thing such that it creates that domino effect. And if you're really into reading, pick up Warren Buffet's The Snowball, it's a long read. And then recall the second part of the law of inertia, objects in motion tend to stay in motion, unless something stops their momentum. So, find that lead domino and start hitting it with all you've got. Take small steps every day, be consistent, and do it intentionally and purposefully. Hope you all follow the compound effect in your life and achieve greater heights towards your goal.